Hey YouTube, Awesome Rider here. Welcome to my review for the Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers Lightning Collection 5 pack or the team pack, also known as the Kaku Rangers. This is one of the last team packs we're getting and honestly one of the last major releases before our pause we're going to be getting here in about a year for the Lightning Collection. Uh, so we're going to kind of take a look and see if it's worth it, not just to get an Alien Rangers or Kaku Ranger team, but worth it for getting, you know, more in your Lightning Collection before they potentially disappear for a while or forever. Um, as per usual, just to get the sort of, you know, basics out of the way, as far as accessories. Like on them right now, they all have their holding weapons hands for the blasters and the swords. Uh, they all come with just alternate very hands, each one set each, as well as a spiral and blaster effect part, sort of alternating between the two. You know, pretty much your par for the core stuff. Nothing too much to write home about. No really exciting lightning parts or anything like that that differentiate it. They also each come with their main weapon modes, which are all well detailed and very well done. I have nothing really bad to say about them. Um, it is kind of funny that I always kind of forget that these weapons actually had detail to them because I feel I was, just saw them so little in Alien Rangers when I was younger that I just picture them as that, like, solid gold plastic that the old school Alien Ranger figures had. And of course, you have the awesome box art as we usually have, which, you know, looks really good. They're all missing their sort of soul, sword holsters or whatever for some reason, but it's still great looking box art if you're someone that likes to save the box or keep it on display or whatnot. So now, going over the figures themselves, just for some base level articulation, they all pretty much have the same articulation. The only notes I do have for mine is the White Ranger's leg right here is loose, no other loose legs, and the helmet here on, or the head I guess, on the Black Ranger here is also loose. So your mileage may vary, which is pretty much par for the course for Lightning Collection and a lot of other figures. You know, you could have someone with a figure with totally loose joints and someone who has the same figure with none, so I just wanted to note that those. But other than that, everything else is solid. It's only really those two loose joints. But everything else, the articulation is pretty much all the same. You have the same ball joint here, swiveling. You got your knee joint here. In fact, this one's even a little bit tough and it makes me nervous because of the recent brittle ones. Uh, you got the little hinge joint at the foot, the hinge here for the waist, the ball joint on the chest, nice ball joint on the head. So if you have a, a you know, lightning collection before, you know the articulation. Uh, same thing for the arms here, nice ball joint here. Swiveling, you got the swiveling here. So great range of motion and all that. Like I said, in terms of loose joints, just her leg and then his helmet head, whatever you want to call it. Um, also of note, these do feel of a very solid quality. You know, as recently we've had a lot of uh, problems with the Lightning Collection, uh, with the wave that came with Dino Charge Blue and Dino Fury Green being extremely brittle, so much that multiple of mine broke. Uh, the wave after that fortunately did fare better, but still felt cheaper. These for me honestly feel of a much more solid quality, much more in line with stuff like the Blue Centurion, as well as older Lightning Collection releases, which despite, you know, varying paint problems, always felt solid. So I just wanted to note that, that these feel very solid, much more worth the money collectible. They don't feel like that brittle quality we've been getting, at least to me. And I have to say, look-wise, they all around look pretty good. Like, most of the paint on these is pretty basic, meaning, like, there's not a lot of details on these suits. So there's not, like, a lot you can really mess up. I'm sure there's a pathetic detail someone cares about out there and is going to say Hasbro's trying to kill the brand because it's missing that detail. But for me, it nails all the base details. You know, all their colors look good. All the little extra details look good. Uh, the gold paint for their little headband bits looks good. You know, the visors are all mostly properly, you know, lined with the white, which is not even necessarily a huge detail, but they all just look very good. I think that um, the proportions on them aren't necessarily always the most accurate, you know, in terms of you're looking at the show proportions of how their, like, stature is and stuff like that. They are a little bit all uh, kind of bulkier and scullier, but a little bit bulkier than in the show. But for me, it's not a deal breaker. It's not one of those ones where it feels really weird or one of the helmets is off so much that it's extremely noticeable or anything like that. Just like as for an example, I feel that Blue's uh, helmet is a little bit like bulgy at the top, like it seems like a little bit like a bald cap compared to the show. It's a little bit misproportioned, but it's not necessarily a huge deal breaker. The only other thing about Blue's is his visor is a little bit thin. I feel it should extend past, and I'm admittedly a little bit disappointed he doesn't have that lighter shade of blue in the show, as that's actually one of my favorite things. This is actually my favorite uh, suit of the Alien Ranger Cocker Rangers, because Sestro is always my favorite, but also I liked the lighter blue, and even though it was coincidental with what we went for. I thought it really just played into the aqua theme of the Alien Rangers. So, admittedly, his helmet is a little bit disappointing, but his is the only one I have major notes on. But all the other ones, I think, just have, um, you know, not the most accurate proportions, but they're close enough and are overall a pretty, like, still quality, solid figure, in my opinion. Like I said, Blue's the only one that has more than one note. Everyone else is kind of like, well, that's not the most 
accurate proportionately, but it's still pretty good looking for a figure, you know, and I think these are still actually some of the best releases outside of those complaints I have about the Blue Ranger here. Um, see here's Red Ranger here. I think he has one of the most uh, accurate head sculpts in terms of the proportions. And just to reiterate, you know, like I said, Blue Ranger is the only one I have major problems with. Everyone else has varying degrees of their helmets and general stature isn't the most accurate to the stature of the Alien Rangers. But for me, none of it is so offensive enough that I wouldn't recommend it. Especially since you have stuff like the original MMPR Red release or MMPR Black or Blue, where their helmets were truly, like, completely off. Whereas these, for me, are close enough for this range of collectible. Um, also, just as I always do for a comparison quick, here it is next to, these are the classic 90s figures. I didn't bring all of them in because I figured you'd get the idea. Um, I don't know of too many other figures. I don't, I think they probably did some Shoto or Soto releases or whatever, but I don't really get into those figures. But just talking about old classic figures, um, as far as I remember, these are really the only ones available. Did we even do an Alien Ranger for the Action Hero line? I honestly can't remember, to be honest. I just can't. Um, but for this one, you know, this is one of the only major Alien Ranger releases, which we have these old classic figures. So you can see it's quite the upgrade in terms of articulation and looks and everything. Although, if I'm being 100% honest, I actually have a soft spot for these figures. They're some of my favorite retro ones. They definitely look more like toys than trying, like figures that are trying to look like the show more. But, you know, their stature is a lot more similar to the show. And this guy's arm is backwards, I just realized. Um, and they just kind of have this nice retro feel. So those actually have value. So I can't say I don't recommend these if you do like retro collecting. They actually hold up a little better than some of the Roy Rage uh, Power Rangers figures we've gotten in the past and stuff like that. But overall, honestly, I really do like this set. Um, it's not perfect. There are problems like with the Blue Ranger, you know, various little loose joints and stuff like that. But it's nothing that makes me not want to buy it. I think, I mean, you know, if, if you... If you're worried about wanting to collect every Ranger and you're worried about the Lightning Collection going away forever, if it does, you know, that's something to consider. But the good news about this is it is a complete team, so you can at least complete this set. Um, and, you know, the Alien Rangers are ones we don't often get a lot of merchandise for here in the U.S., you know, outside of those old 90s ones and stuff like that. And if we did do an Action Hero for Red, that was only a one and done, obviously. Uh, so... If you are a huge Alien Ranger, Cock Ranger fan, I can at least recommend checking this out. You know, give it a look, see if it's something you might like, because it's not perfect, but I think it's one of the better sets released. I've seen some really awesome photos people have been taking with him. It's honestly not a perfect, but a really cool set. And I personally was quite stoked for it, uh, because I've always had a soft spot for the Alien Rangers, and also I rewatched Cock Ranger a few years ago and became a pretty big fan of that series, so I was pretty excited by it. So, you know, small little disappointments aside, I am happy to have these as a complete set, um, as a more upgraded version. Although, again, admittedly, I have quite the soft spot for these figures. But that's about it for this one, guys. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell so you get notifications for my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.